top-down driving in a Bentley on a gorgeous summer afternoon, it simply doesn't get any better than this. But this isn't just another GTC model. This is the new for 2014 V8S. So for those of you wanting more sport from your Bentley drop top, the wait is finally over. The Continental GT lineup featuring coupes and convertibles with 12 or eight cylinder power continues to be Bentley's bread and butter. There are eight variations from which to choose and the V8S twins are the latest. Fortifying their burgeoning V8 offerings, the new S designation further pushes performance and a sleeker body to satisfy those wanting even more. Starting, of course, under the hood. If you are a fan of the 12-cylinder engine in the original GT, you are going to love this 4-liter twin turbo here in the V8S. It makes over 500 horsepower, can put down a 0 to 60 time in the mid-4s, and if fuel economy matters to you, has cylinder deactivation. And compared with the standard V8, the S has been tuned for 21 more horses and an additional 15 pound-feet of torque, good for knocking two tenths off the sprint with the capability of reaching 191 miles per hour. And frankly, I'm relatively pleased with the 17 MPG I averaged this week. The EPA rating is 14 City 24 Highway, which qualifies the V8S for a $1,000 gas guzzler tax. But in a car replete with over $32,000 in options, you'll hardly even notice. A stiffened suspension, lowered by four-tenths of an inch, is underpinned by a performance-tuned continuous damping control system for the air springs. The electronically controlled steering has been recalibrated for more precision, and the stability control system has been dialed back to allow for more wheel slip at higher speeds. All the while, the 8-speed automatic transmission with sport mode and Bentley's uniquely long paddle shifters works all four wheels through the rear-biased all-wheel drive system. The sporting upgrades are indeed palpable. One of the things that's instantly noticeable about this car is that it's far more buttoned down than any Bentley I've driven before. But one of the trade-offs for that tauter suspension is a lot of NVH permeating the body up through the steering column. With nearly 5,500 pounds of car and the obvious absence of a roof, more vibration over uneven surfaces is felt. And with this car's costliest option, the nearly $8,500 Mulliner driving specification, you get these Pirelli P0 Max Performance Summer Tires. With these optional oversized 21-inch wheels, even with the air suspension set to comfort, the ride quality is notably firmer than I'm accustomed to in a Bentley. It can still take a railroad crossing and turn it into a mere bump in the road, but you certainly feel more of everything in the S. With this kind of heft, Grand Touring is still the name of the game. But this is a Conti far more willing to cut down a curvy road than perhaps any I've ever driven. And the optional sports exhaust goes from subtle to this in an instant's notice. And the look is oh so right. In glacier white, fitted with the lower body styling, it's a breathtaking Bentley. The interior combination of diamond quilted linen seats and beluga leather is a sight to behold. It offers the best massage and neck warmer I've tested, but the mechanicals controlling them are noisy. The craftsmanship, which still takes place in England, despite the heavy German influence, is impeccable. The rear seats can be used for kids, though they sit dungeon-style deep, or can be used for a fold-up windscreen that stows in the fairly ample trunk. One of the interesting tidbits that I often share about the auto industry is that the more you pay for your car, the greater the likelihood that the electronics are subpar. And that could not be more evident than it is here. You could buy low-end Korean cars with better infotainment systems than this one. Other than the stellar $7,300 name audio system, Bentley has yet to get modern in-car technology. With an as-tested price of $252,275, this GT V8S convertible buys you some distance from the other Bentleys cruising through your neighborhood. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.